Hello, welcome back to the Otio YouTube channel. In the last video, we were working with this essay question, a sample philosophy essay question. And we added all these sources into Otio and managed to see summaries and ask questions about them all. If you think of a typical workflow, these types of actions are associated with the reading component of that. Otio helps to supercharge that, and that's exemplified in the video before. So I'd encourage you to go and check that out. It's linked below. So as you can see here, we're on the Otio platform. We have the sources that we brought in last time. We're just gonna to navigate to create a new notes. And here we have the new notes. So Otio's basic production capability lies in the blank page. This works in a similar way to platforms like Google Docs or Microsoft Word, which you may be using before. It's a good place to get ideas down or alternatively, you can write your full piece here and leverage our clever AI editing features uh, to, to improve that. So that's the functionality of the blank page. Now I'm gonna show you how to create an outline. Simply generate something with AI, and you can choose any of these settings uh, that, that, that you fancy. For this though, I'm gonna write an outline or an essay plan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna to go to the, my essay question. I'm gonna copy that and paste it into the box. Next, I'm gonna add sources. And this ensures that the generation uh, is grounded in the sources that you give it. So you can trust that they're going to be accurate um, and not make things up. Okay, I'm going to fire that off. And it usually takes a couple of minutes to load up. So I'll see you on the other side. This outline feature is great for creating structure and maybe getting some initial ideas down, uh, which you can then flesh out later on if you see fit. So for instance, if I wanted to do this, uh, I could then write my own you know, definition if I wanted to flesh that out more, or I can even use AI to help me to, to expand on that, uh, with the AI editing feature. So in this instance, maybe we want to expand on this, uh, so here we are, um, and, and we can add that in if necessary too. I'm going to discard that for now, but that gives you a window into how the editing platform works. We can format this uh, in any way we like as well, thanks to the inbuilt editor. And um, so if I wanted to make this bold, italic, et cetera, uh, just like you'd expect from, from another editing platform. Now, finally, for this video, I'm going to show you Otio's full draft functionality. This does exactly what it says in the tin. You put your essay question in or prompt for any of the, the writing type that you are, are doing, and then it will give you a full detailed block of writing, which then you can go on to edit as before. So let's try that. Once again, we've got our essay question, copying that. I'm gonna generate something with AI and I'm gonna write an essay. Copy the section in, I'm gonna quickly add it a title. Select my sources as before. And let's do it. And here we have the final draft. So we've tinkered with uh, existing AI models to make sure that this is relevant to the setting in which you choose. So if you recall before, I, there was the choice of outline, blog posts, uh, essay, et cetera. Generation that you choose will, uh, will be reflective of this uh, in its style. And, and as you can see, there's a structure like an academic essay with an introduction, well-structured headings, and of course, conclusion and future considerations. Um, and as before, as I mentioned, you can edit this in any way you like using AI or, or, your, or just digging in yourself. I hope that exemplifies uh, the, the other piece of the puzzle, uh, aside from reading and writing and how Audio can help you to do that um, in the context of your specific workflow. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. If after seeing this video, you'd like to try Audio out, then feel free to use the link in the description to do so. I was role-playing a student in this case, and if you are a real student, uh, then there's also exclusive student discounts as well. All the details of that are available on the pricing page of our website. Without further ado, I'd like to say thank you for staying tuned on this two-part series, and I hope you have a great day.